It's the gun for a lazy people. Why? Two reasons. Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today we are taking another look on the Gatling Gun as of the end of 2023. How does it perform? Is it good? Is it bad as well? As I found some really crazy interactions regardless to instigating and legendary perk taking one for the team but that at the end i don't know if that's a current bug a current feature or what's gonna going on with this we'll figure this out eventually but let's talk about the gun first the gatling gun the crank up heavy weapon fires slowly but it's quite powerful what do I think about it? What are the modifications first? Like, that's a very basic gun, you could say. It's using 5mm ammo, which makes it incredibly ammo efficient. Incredibly ammo efficient weapon. Uh, there are some modifications, and I was trying to play with Prime. I need to honestly say, unless you plan to use it, this gun exclusively to hunt for Scorched, Prime is not a good option. The speedy receiver is way better. The standard, there is no use case for standard. The speedy receiver. This extra fire rate, the five extra fire rate, awesome. As well as this one, extra fire rate on second star. So it can hit fire rate of 30, which starts feeling really good. Below that, I, I don't particularly like it as much. So I would definitely recommend a faster fire rate. Two barrels, long and regular. Interesting uh, fact, short barrel reduces the AP cost, but I would not recommend using it. You are losing a VAT's accuracy, which is not good. And don't be fooled by that. It says that VAT's accuracy goes up. It's not true because VAT's accuracy is mainly based on total range. If total range is going down, the VAT's accuracy is going down, not up. Then we have comfort grip option that is reducing AP cost and especially improves recoil accuracy, that's important. In VATS, this weapon can be occasionally used. It's not really a good VATS weapon. It's better without VATS due to the high cost. It can be used because it's firing slowly, so it's possible to have some shots. Extra large magazine, in my opinion, absolutely not needed. You will lose a little bit of aim speed and with the fire rate of this weapon, 250 is more than enough so i would i would not go personally with a large one and lastly the side you can have none on front side i like this side it's good it's a little side especially with the skin if you have the skin like that's affecting how the weapon look like if there would be no skin on this particular one i can show you that if i will go for default appearance it makes a sight way worse. This sight in practice, okay, I will show you the comparison. If you don't have a skin, unfortunately skins usually come from Atom Shop or from scoreboards. So that's no skin when you are aiming, you have this like obstruction into the view. And if you use the skin, that's with the skin. That's smaller, way better, in my opinion. In my opinion, way better with the skin, if you have it. If you don't have any of those skins, I would recommend to be on a lookout in the Atom Shop. Two skins offer the better side, Appalachian Thunder Pipe and Gilded Paint, those two. The Black Knight Paint, unfortunate, unfortunately doesn't, this one. This one does not offer a better side, so only the other two. About the muzzle, unless you plan to bash something, I strongly recommend not to use it as it reduces your rent, increases the weight and only plus side is more bash damage. And now it's time for some action with this build. I'm starting with my anti-armor faster fire rate. As you can see, it's firing real fast. The damage is really good too. So annihilating enemies, it's not much of a problem. Uh, the best part of using Gatling gun, it's the gun for a lazy people. Why? Two reasons. There is no spin up time, so it fires instantly. And when you are killing stuff, 
you are producing ammo. Like all those bodies, if I open it, I'm dropping way more ammo, even from regular enemies in regular combat than I'm ever using. So this gun will not run out of ammo. And this gun will like almost never break. The durability of this gun is great. And if you wonder which build I'm using, I'm currently on the build that I recently uploaded. It's my heavy gunner, mainly made for Gatling laser and Gatling plasma, but works great with Gatling gun too. Now, in case of legendary effects for those guns, what I would recommend for prefix, of course, anti-armor is awesome. Bloodied will be even better if you play bloodied build, as there is high damage per bullet already, so bloodied, very beneficial. Weapon speed, probably the best you can have. Feels, feels way better with weapon speed than without it. And last star is not really very important. If you want to use it in VATs, less AP cost. If you don't plan to ever use it in VATs, weightless will be amazing. Other than that, third star, not really very important. Uh, if you are looking into some explosive effect on this gun, uh, like, oh, that's a bash damage uh, there. Bullet explode, it does help a little bit does give you a little bit more damage, but I feel like extra fire rate is a bigger benefit. And this one I was testing with Prime, so I can show you what's the difference in fire rate. So that's explosive instigating, and it's Prime, so there is no extra fire rate at all. So that's how it fires. You can, yeah, like it feels like a slow motion if you run speedy receiver and faster fire rate for a moment. And you can clearly see that the fact that there is Prime, it's not worth it. The amount of damage you are getting extra is way too low. And now this special damage. When I go and get a headshot, can I see 587 in here, 758, but it's even more wild. And that's because of this instigating and taking one for the team. Let's see if I can show you occasionally. Look at that, 978. So, 978 is happening. We are trying to investigate on the last live stream. And 648 now. What I can tell you. What I can tell you about that. You probably wonder what is it all about. So, I will not say it's 100% answer. Because it, it may be something else. But so far, what we established. It's something to do with instigating effect. And legendary perk taking one for the team. Somehow, with this combo, instigating and taking one for the team, occasionally taking one for the team will get like double stacked on the enemy or work twice with instigating. Something is going on as basically I'm getting about 500 damage to the head without taking one for the team triggered. I'm getting about 670 damage to the head with taking one for the team triggered. But occasionally, I'm getting 900 damage and one shot kill. So taking one for the team must be triggering twice, as I was trying to see what will happen if I unequip this card, and I was getting 500 always to the head. So without this card, it was always 500. It was never more, never a sudden death of enemy super mutants. So there is this odd combo going on, which makes it, at least at this moment, that instigating Gatling gun, if you are running heavy gunner, is good. It's good, but only because occasionally it's doing way more damage somehow than it's supposed to. It's not happening with my anti-armor, but it does happen with my instigating. So that's, that's worth to mention in here. Now, if I would like to use it a little bit in VATS, I can show you that, unfortunately, it will cost a lot. So if I go for that, oh, now it's a magic 900. Every time they die in one shot, that's the magic damage. When they don't, it's a normal damage. So you can you can use it in that. You will need a lot of perception boost, like boosted Sweetwater specialty, maybe orange mentats targeting. Cut. Like it's not perfect by default. It's not perfect by default. That was 900 now because of the critical. I used a critical. That's how this guy died. So you can use it in VATS. Definitely not a weapon that's intended. But for me personally, when weapon is not intended to use in particular way, I even more encourage to try to use it in this way. 
So you can, probably not advised to use it in VATS. In my case, I have more fusion cores than I need, so that's not my concern. I have 39 fusion cores, and even trying to burn those, I, I cannot, like, they're going up, so I'm trying to use VATS more, I'm trying to burn some fusion cores. And that's where you, like, what I will say in summary about the Gatling gun. If you have good legendary effect on it, and you want to make a lazy heavy gunner build, it is awesome. It will be enough to do some damage to bosses if you use VATS on bosses. Without VATS, I, I need to be honest, you will not be a top contributor in a boss fight, but on everyday basis, the weapon that generates ammo, that rarely requires any repair, and fires instantly without any spin-up and trickery, and on top of that, ammo itself, 5 mil, is one of the lightest ammo types, so without any reduction, you can carry insane amount, 0, 0, 1. That's the weight, so my stack, I accumulated over 20,000, is 21 pounds. That's without reduction to the weight. And obviously, I don't need that. I don't need any ammo with it. I can start with one, and I will produce more. I can start with zero. I will encounter a single ammo box, and it will, it will give me like 100. Whatever you are using, prime or regular, it will produce ammo. So, Gatling gun, surprisingly, still really good in 2023. It's not a top dog for damage, but it's really a top dog for a lazy build, if you plan to create one. Maybe I should even refresh my lazy bead with a Gatling gun? What do you think? Let me know. And that being said, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Tattoo out.